spring for a few days and the weather is nice sun's out I know darling sorry so I thought I'd show you a few new things on the bike that I've sort of slowly done over winter have a look at this Righto, so there's a couple of new things on the in the Beamer. First up, ridiculously massive new tank. Apparently holds about 35 litres. There's the old one. So I have yet to paint that. I'll give it the same paint job as the old one. And give you a screen. I'm just not tough enough to sit there and bear the full brunt of the wind. So, makes life easy, then good, I'm all for it. And there's the poor old katana, looking uh, sad and neglected down there. I haven't been able to ride it for ages because the uh, there's a bearing that goes on the output shaft to the front sprocket. And that's uh, making lots of rumbling noises, so uh, I've um, yeah not ridden it because of that. And it's uh, kind of expensive to fix because the engine has to be taken out and the case has to be cranked open. Cracked open, sorry. All my shit. There's the beginnings of my main cabinet, which I haven't... Uh, we begin on here. I've got another one next door that I'm uh, working on first. Yeah. So my poor old bike. Another thing I've just noticed: bloody oil leaks. I don't think it used to do that, but in the other house, this was sitting on like wooden slats, so it's possible that I just simply didn't notice if it was leaking through the bottom. Which means I need to check the oil because the gearbox is making a little bit of whining. I thought surely not, seeing as I've just changed the oil. But it could be. So I don't know. Another thing that I've been rather frustrated by is this battery is sort of, I forgot to unplug it over the winter. And uh, of course it's sort of worn down, so I want to charge it, but I can't get the bloody battery out. And if you can see this uh, bolt sticking out here, it holds on the rear suspension. You can see the arm running down there. That's the suspension. And on this side, there are electrical cables and stuff running along here. And with a combination of the two, I cannot actually get the battery out. It just doesn't want to go. I got it in there somehow. But uh, I'm not sure what I've done differently, but it just doesn't want to come out. So I'll have to charge it in the bike, which is apparently a big no-no. But uh, I don't really have any other choice. I've checked all the levels in there, and they all look pretty good, so I know, we'll give it a go. And there's no petrol in the tank either. I haven't painted it yet. Yeah, look at the size of that thing. Jesus. Yeah. Comes up level to the instruments. I've also bought a new camera, which I'll show you in a tick. Uh, finally went with the bullet cam and hard drive recorder set up, because I found one. It was in my price range, i.e. dirt cheap. And I'm wondering if... Uh, I also bought a little suction cup with a tripod head on it. A little basic thing, but I wonder if it'll fit on on top of that. And then just point forwards through the screen. Which could be nice. It's a screen, check it out. I mean it's uh, out there, glary, through there. Quite nice. Assuming that I managed to actually keep the screen clean. I don't know. Lots of fun tweaking to do. So hopefully over the next couple of weeks 
get this lovely bugger done, seeing as we've got all this lovely sun shining away. And hopefully, uh, yeah, a couple of coats of spray paint, and we should be all good. Alright, I'll we'll leave that going for a while. Rather dodgy, I know. Oh well. No choice, no petrol nearby. Bike's pretty simple if it does blow up, but I'll be checking it all the time anyway.